Welcome again to the International Dragon Thunder Summit 2023. And the next layer that we've got on this beautiful call is a dragon art activator and channel. And she's called Dina. And she's going to share some amazing things with us, her meditation, show us some cards and some art. Uh, so I hand you over to Dina. Yeah, I'm calling in uh, my Pachuca. Maia and Maela, Utokia, Shakri and Akaria, Shakri, the Kishakri, the Kachakri, Shakri, the Kishakri, the Kishakri, and Akaria, and Mother Sophia, and the Rose Dragon, Tikishakri, the Kishakri, the Kishakri, the Kishakri, the Kishakri, the Kishakri, the I already called in a lot of the other dragons earlier. <laughs> <laughs> We're surrounded. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I am Dina Fortune, and I am a dragon channeler and a dragon activator. And I assist those that are connecting with their dragons to do so with creativity, their soul expression, and all in all, I act as a bridge between our human selves and our dragon selves and the dragon riders so that we may all come together and be in our full purpose and know who we truly are and express from our hearts, anchoring in the dragon energy. So I bring together people in ceremony and one-to-one -one sessions. Uh, and many people come to me to work with the dragons um, and get introduced to their dragons or reintroduce to build a, a deeper connection. And so uh, basically I can say that this started when um, I started to go under some healing and I had come to a point where I was not living in my joy. And um, I had not been painting, creating art for some time. And, and so all these series of events, when I set the intention that I would come back to art, and I was going to come back to art with the intention of healing, using it for healing for myself, and then guiding others to use art as a healing mechanism. Well, that opened up a huge door and I started painting butterflies and I started being a leader in bringing people together to create. And the dragons started to come in and once I received a healing that reconnected my meridians to my higher self and mother Gaia. The dragons came in. I got introduced to Sophia Mother Dragon and the Sophia Code, and then Dragon Light Language started to come in. And so all the pieces of the puzzle started to come in through art. And the dragons um, uh, gave me the opportunity of creating art with them. And so that I may anchor in the codes and put that in the art and really assist people so that when they interact with the art, they receive the codes from the art and the energetics from the art. And so, and then a little push to be out public and sharing this <laughs> and receiving uh, my attunement of Celtic Dragon Reiki, the uh, Sakim Dragon Reiki, and the empowerment Reiki just kind of open up doors and here we are. <laughs> so it's just been a beautiful ride and I'm here to take you on a beautiful dragon ride today so that you may connect more with your dragons through the vehicle of creative expression. So I ask you to open your hearts and open your minds and be with us today. I would like to just show a few samples. Um, and I wanted to share the this dragon print because this dragon yep. print 
has a lot of codes in it. And um, this is the dragon initiation painting that I mentioned. Yep. That yep. really um, was kind of uh, like I was already painting the dragon with the dragon energy, but like this was um, like like an initiation. And yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's a link that they can buy the print in many different forms. In fact, well, they... I also wanted to um, send you over an offering for those who watch this recording of an offering for a one-to-one -one session at a special price. For those yep. that you know come to watch this video, they'll get a separate uh, special um, link that is um, a very unique dragon. Uh, experience session where I work with them even deeper with their yep. dragons and their creativity. And um, and then also a, a recording that I'd like to record separately so they can have like just the the recording. Um, yep. You know, like a separate Perfect. Yeah, what, recording. What, whatever you want to send over. Um, so I have this whale dragon. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very new. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a whale dragon, but apparently it came through with this painting. So um, the whale dragon is going to be part of this journey as well. So, um, to, uh, so I guess we can start with the, I wanted to say that um, this meditation that I'm going to guide you through is going to take you into a space that you can return at a later time if you want to. And once we're in this space that um, is like your temple, the dragon temple space, then you I will be channeling some uh, dragon light language that will be activating it'll be uh, there'll be attunement energy that will be um for basically heart opening and just allowing your body and your senses to really receive and be in tune with your dragon energy so that you can then go on and connect with the dragons even more through your creations so this is like an introduction to creating art with the dragons. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with a little dragon drumming to bring us into this space. And I'll invite you to take a few deep breaths. And as I am drumming, I invite you to Imagine yourself in the forest, in a bench, where you know that all is well, and you are surrounded by love, and surrounded by all the elements that are there to assist you in this journey, including the dragons. dragon circle beyond you and you're on your way to join the dragons I'm going to invite you to imagine that you are surrounded by love that your auric field is turning into a bubble so that in this bubble you will receive all the energetics, all the frequencies that are meant for you. And then as time goes on, it can all seep into your cells in a very graceful way as to not fully overwhelm you. So now that we are in this space, in the forest, I'm gonna take us on a journey where you will be joined with the dragons in just a few moments. And for now, I invite my dragons 
to surround us the Sophia dragons, the Rose dragons, the Lapis dragons, Mother Sophia dragon. And these are all dragons that you can connect with because you have free will. And so we're going on a walk and in front of us, we will see a rose full trellis. And beyond that trellis is a rose garden. And we're gonna walk through this trellis that is also a portal and this portal is protected by the dragons and it's going to bring us into the realm of the dragons. And you hear some singing in the background. And as you walk, you are receiving everything that is in your highest good and you feel your heart pumping with anticipation. You feel your cells awakening with excitement because you know that it's finally time to meet your dragon or reconnect with your dragon or meet a new dragon that is now present for you because it's divine time to receive. So as you see, we are in the realm of the rose dragons. And they are greeting you. And you can see these different dragons appearing for you. These dragons are here to love on you. And they are rose dragons and they look kind of like a rose and kind of like a dragon. And there's a lapis dragon in the background. Before you can go deeper into this space, Merlin is here to greet you. And he wants to just give you a little blessing and introduce you to the dragons that are here for you. These dragons come with great respect and reverence. And you stand there in front of Merlin and you acknowledge, you understand on a soul level everything he is saying to you. And this is a precious, sacred moment. And on one side, you see the forest and you see the dragons and you see the trees, and you're about to receive the codes, but before you do, you're gonna sit down in a chair that I'm gonna guide you to. So we're gonna take a few steps with some breaths. And before you, you see an opening to a cave and Merlin is guiding you into this cave where you will receive your dragon. And this cave is beautiful and it has a huge light inside with an amethyst throne and you're gonna sit in there and you're gonna laugh because it's everything you can dream it to be. It's miracles all around you with stalactites and beautiful crystals, garden crystals, flower crystals. And then there's some art supplies that are waiting for you as well. Yes, because anything happens in this realm. Miracles around you. And now you're sitting in this amethyst throne and you're going to receive the codes and attunement energies. So I invite you to say yes to receiving all that is in your highest good. And if there's anything that you want to ask for, an intention that you would like to set right now, 
You can state that or write that in your notebook right now. And before you, I stand as the Sophia dragon, the embodiment of all the dragons that are here for you. And we'll start with the attunement. Now that you are cozy in this amethyst chair. to receive any messages that you're feeling arriving in your consciousness and take a moment to notice what you're feeling. Are you smelling the roses, smelling the flowers, the lavender, the roses, the tulips, the violets? Any other flowers that you may smell? And there's a dragon in the distance that is making its way over to you. And this dragon is for you. He will take, he or she will take the form that makes the most resonance for you. Maybe it's rainbow or lapis or blue or black. He will present himself or herself to you at this moment. You can take a moment to cuddle or pet, just feel the love. And we'll take a few moments here so that you may hear any messages this dragon wants to say to you. In heart to heart, soul to soul, he's putting his hand, his paw, his claw, whatever it feels like to you on your heart and he, she greets you. So what's your voice? I had the horse, 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 just feel the love and allow the energies that he's sending, she's sending to you. Just surround you and welcome you and touch your heart. And now you will Stay seated next to your dragon. Receive these frequencies that are for activation of your memories and activation of your gifts and activation of whatever your soul, your higher self is calling you to receive right now as it pertains to your dragon journey for you to co-create with your dragon essence, your dragon self. And at this time, if you wish, you can even draw with your paper and pencil or watercolors, what wants to come to you at any time. 
I'm going to bring in the drumming right now to assist. posture of your hand, your shoulders back, your chest forward, and you may sing too at this time along with the dragon. open up in your heart now that you received all these codes all these frequencies that are radiating all around you and through you activating your inner healing and your inner creatrix I'm going to invite you to sit back down in your chair And this is the time where you can pause the video. Pause this video so that you may draw or paint or write what wants to come through you from the dragons. Play some music, move your body, allow yourself to flow and feel, imagine these energies of the dragons flowing through you and guiding you to paint or draw or dance or write. And so now you've returned from your painting, your drawing, your dancing. And you're gonna take a moment to talk with your dragon and say thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you can ask for its name. And he or she can tell you its name at any point. And you're going to say thank you to Merlin. And you're going to start to make your way out of the cave. And you're going to see all these trees and flowers. And they're going to greet you and they say thank you. And you can even take a flower on the way with you if you would like. And then you'll keep going and walking and in front of you, you will see a trellis, that same trellis that had all the roses. And you will walk through that trellis and it's like a portal to bring you back into your space. Forever changed because now you have this deep connection and you're feeling creative and inspired and magical and believing in miracles. And knowing that your life will never be the same because now you have met this dragon and another piece of you has awoken within you. And so now you're walking 
you're walking and you see this doorway and you open that door and it brings you into the room where you are now. And we thank the dragons and you enter your body and you feel everything in your body. It's just feeling you to move and shake and dance and celebrate. And now you're going to open your eyes as you feel ready and twinkle your fingers and touch your toes, touch yourself, give yourself a hug to celebrate. And you can open your eyes. And join us. <laughs> can I show you the cards that I pulled right before this? You can indeed. Um, so this is the Star Dragon deck um, by Paolo Barbieri. Um, so I pulled uh, resources. Here, let me show you. Uh, and funny enough, this is number 11 resources. Um, and the other one is culmination completion and renewal and look at this dragon look at the woman <laughs> yeah that's and, then, <laughs> and then um that's the um what do you call it? there's a name for them um i can't i don't like it and the third card is um i'm gonna just tell you um the third card is five, miracle. And my dragon, um, okay, so one of my lifetimes, I am Kuan Yin's dragon. So this, and my number, my expression number, my soul expression number is five. And this is all about stepping up, being of service, holding the light, being out there. And that's literally what I am doing today with you. And so um, I want to do this because I feel like there's so many people that are out there that are starting to learn about the dragons or connect with the dragons and maybe they feel alone. And maybe they don't know that they're not the only one, but if they start to share and start to talk to people, they're going to find out that there are so many people that love dragons and connect with dragons and uh, that there's such a magical world that we are also living in at the same time as this reality. And just by going into this space, we can we can be there and get to know all that we are and be, and there's so much more to us than we even know and and that's why like when i found out about this i i just was like yes i don't know what exactly i'm doing but yes <laughs> so you just got to say yes and trust that everything that you need all your resources are going to be there for you and that there's always a time for renewal and rebirthing and so i pray and trust that this video um gets received by those who are meant to receive it and that it is um received with love so my Sophia dragon and you know there are so many I think I feel like what I want to share is that um oh uh the dragons in my world in my life have really been about you know empowerment and stepping forward and assisting with creativity but everyone's dragons can be for something else right so like I work with the Lemurian dragons I work with um the rose dragons um and now uh in july i'm i'm gonna be part of I'm one of the authors in a book about self-love now i don't think that i would have ever done this if it wasn't for my connection with the dragons and uh i do believe that the dragons 
um, my dragons have really assisted with, you know, introducing me to all the divine souls that are meant to be part of my journey, um, including you, including Mystic Merlin, including so many, like Vin, you know, Vinalyn, like there's so many people that, you know, I feel like it's just a matter of trusting and opening your heart and knowing and having faith that everything that's happening is happening for you. And if you just allow and it's just like everything can like really speed up. And so now it's like the importance of like self love is real because things are shifting, things are changing and there are going to be people that might leave but them leaving just makes room for the people, the soul family that are meant to come into your life now. So it's so important to be your true authentic self because not being your authentic self costs you more than putting, putting yourself out there and facing potential rejection, which, you know, Rejection is God's protection, <laughs> you know, and, um, and sometimes it just strengthens you like now, like from all the years of rejection, um, from people that, you know, I guess were meant to do that. It helped me cultivate my, my essence and my skin and to be able to be here and be like, yes, I am dragon and I am human and I am many things. I am multidimensional and I have no problem saying that. And, you know, so I feel like we're all on our own path and our path is real for us and not everybody is necessarily going to understand our path. And, and that's why, you know, you're being led to here. I feel like we're all being led to connect with the dragons because it's part of who we are. And what do you think? I mean, I'm just like, I love having conversations with others that connect with dragons because I feel like we all have our roles to play, you know, like Michelle, you know, has a connection with the Maharat, you know, and this one has, you know, they are historians and, I might not be a historian on the dragon realm, but I bring through what I'm meant to bring through. Yeah. And and I feel like this journey of working with the dragons and, and empowerment has, it's like the more I say yes to me and yes to my role and yes to my mission, it's like everything, everything comes into place. That was beautiful. I was full on. Uh, I just love it. It's everything everyone has said, everyone has shared, like you say, from their perspective of dragons. And we none of us should be making anyone else wrong. We shouldn't all be going, the dragons must be that way. The dragons are multidimensional and, and I mean, humans are multidimensional and dragons are even bigger. So everyone's got a valid point. And that's the thing about this summit is that to get everyone to share their point of view. And some people will won't resonate with some people and other people will resonate with someone else. That's great. That's why there's 25 of us speaking. So hopefully one person who's going to re resonate with and go, that's, that's the person I'm going to study dragons with. And I think that's yeah. perfect. And that's why the dragons called this to, to show the variety of, of their skills, their abilities and the humans that they pick to work with. And exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, it's funny because like a lot of the, the people, um, the experts in the Dragon Summit, um, there are people that I, like uh, Diana Cooper, first Oracle deck, one of the first Oracle decks, the first Dragon Oracle deck I ever bought. And, um, and that was the deck that helped me learn that I can channel the dragons with the cards and that I had uh, the gift of being able to just pull the card and read the message from the card, you know, and do like, so it's like, and then, um, oh my gosh, I don't know why some of the names are escaping me right now, but, uh, I feel like it's, it's very important for everyone to hear that we are all here to make a difference in our own unique way. And if we were all the same, then it'd be really boring. And so 
you know, Carolyn Mitchell, you know, or Diana, like we're all, there's no need for comparison. Like it's like drop comparison in the garbage can and uh, because that's gonna just distract, you know, from you being who you are. So I, I was like, wow, there's a lot of people in this summit that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, but there's only one me and there's only one you and there's only one you, you know? So it's like, that's another message I feel like is really, really important because uh, we all came here for a mission. And for those that are called to this summit, they're gonna receive what they're meant to receive so that they can do their mission that's authentic to them and, you know, and also meet some amazing souls along the way, which, you know, by saying yes to this, it's like open so many doors, Kevin. And I'm like super grateful because uh, it helped me step out of my comfort zone a little bit more, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> And, and that's the authenticity. I found, I got this as a gift uh, from a friend. She bought it in Africa and she gave it to me years ago. And I lost it for a long time. And the day, you know what? The day that I found it was the day that I was attuned to Celtic dragon Reiki. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, so, and I, I meld all the different um, modalities together. So like, the Celtic Reiki, like the Dragon Reiki, um, and the um, and the late language, they all like fuse together. <laughs> well, the, oh, I wanted to tell you something. Twenty five um, is a number that would be great. Um, that would be lovely. Uh, Twenty five also is a number that represents universal love. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm so grateful that the dragons brought us together and um, that I got to be a part of this. So, um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I'm so grateful. You like, know what time it is right now, Kevin? 11 11. 11 11. <laughs> there you I'm go. Like, we'll wrap it on that, right?